Hello students. After set theory, we are going to start the major part which is called relation. Do you know anything about the relation? See, before relation, we should know the Cartesian product of two sets. What is the meaning of Cartesian product? So let us take two sets, non-empty sets, non-empty means set must contain at least one element, remember. Okay, so suppose A is a set. Set A contains three elements, say 1, comma 2, comma 3. Okay, non-empty set, how many elements are there in the set? Three elements are there in the set. So I can write number of elements in the set is equal to 3. Okay, now I am going to take one more set B. Now set B is equal to, I am taking only two elements, small a comma small b. So I can write number of elements in the set B, n of B, okay, is equal to 2. Now, Cartesian product means A cross B, set A cross set B. What is the meaning of cross? Cross means this is a set of order pair. What is the meaning of order pair? Order pair means in a bracket, you have to write the first element from set A and second element from set B. Can you tell me how many such pairs can possible? Let us see. What is the first pair? Now I am going to write A cross B. So A cross B is equal to curly bracket. Inside the curly bracket, one round bracket. I am writing first element 1 comma A, 2 comma A, 3 comma A, then 1 comma B, 2 comma B and 3 comma B. So such 6 elements or 6 pairs are there. Okay, once again I am repeating the pairs. 1 comma A, 2 comma A, 3 comma A, then 1 comma B, 2 comma B and 3 comma B. Such 6 pairs are there. So I can say number of elements in A cross B which is a set equal to 6. Understood? So A cross B is called Cartesian product of set A and B. Now remember, if I write B cross A, you have to take the elements of set B first, comma, then element of A. And see, these two sets are different. Means we can say A cross B not necessarily or always equal to B cross A. May be equal. Remember, if you take A and B equal, then only A cross B and B cross A must be equal, no? So I am saying when A and B are two different sets, A cross B are not equal to what? B cross A. First, understood? Now go for the next part. I am going to take some elements from this A cross B. Some elements. There are how many elements? Six elements are there. I am going to take some three elements from this. Let it let there be 1 comma A, 2 comma B and 3 comma B. Okay, I am taking one set, 1 comma A, 2 comma B and 3 comma B. This is a set. What is this? This set is what? Subset. Because it contains all elements of what? A cross B. So we can say that this set is the subset of A cross B. And this set which is a subset of A cross B is called relation. Remember? So we can take so many sets. I can take some different combination also. I can take 1 comma A, 2 
comma a b comma a one more entry which is a relation which is a subset of a cross b once again i can take some different elements so i can take one comma a two comma a three comma a this is one more combination this is also one subset of a cross b which is also called the relation and generally this relation are denoted by symbol capital r suppose we have so many sets then we can give them some fixed r1 capital r1 capital r2 capital r3 all such sets are subsets of a cross b remember then only we can say this set r 1, a 2, b and 3, b this set r is a relation from set a to set b okay denoted by a capital then r then b here elements are correlated remember here if i take the one element of r if i take first element 1, a suppose here one is called the element one is an element of set a and small a is an element of set b and here b is called small b element small b is called image of element 1 under r r means relation similarly b is called image of 2 Am I right? Also, B is image of 3. So, it means what? 1 has image, element 1 has image A, element 2 has image B, element 3 has image B. Correct? So, this first set, first set which gives you the elements 1, 2, 3, the first component of the pair. And this set 1, 2, 3 is called domain of the relation. Okay. And the second element, which are both A, B, B. But in the set, remember only once. We have to take the elements only once. You can't take one element twice or thrice. Okay. So we have to write the range of the relation means set of images and range of the relation is equal to what small a comma small b these are called this is called range of the relation r understood okay so once again 1 comma 2 comma 3 is a set which is a domain of the relation r and the second set small a comma small b is called range of the relation R and once again what is R? R is the subset of A cross B remember then only we can say that R is a relation from set A to set B understood?